G'day there, mate. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy, and welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we'll be continuing the story of God of War 2018. Now, in the last episode, we actually took on another Valkyrie, explored everything again in uh, Alfheim, which wasn't really that much. And now we're back in Helheim trying to find all the artifacts, crows, artifacts. I already said artifacts, but basically just trying to get the collectibles. So, enough of my rambling. Let's get started, shall we? Now, by the looks of things, I might be taking on all the Valkyries at this moment. But, however, when it comes to the last one we have to face, number nine, yes, there are nine Valkyries in total, she is going to be a bit more of a challenge. And I should know because when I did play it for the first time, oh lord, that was literally hell on earth. Now, in regards to Odin's uh, ravens here, I might have to bring up the guard again, but I don't think there'll be any down here. But if there is, I will have to, uh, uh, <clears throat> I will skip ahead, but skip ahead to that point. Also, if you hear me sound a bit more frustrated than I normally do, I won't bother you with the details, but long story short, it's pretty much like a more bigger version of uh, threading the needle, if you get, the, get what I mean, but yeah, pretty much that, just a lot bigger. Anyway, they're hearing it, Raven's calling, or is that just a crow? I don't know. Look for here. Okay, I was just, uh, just trying to bring up that IGN page on my computer, and it popped up with something about a look like a knockoff version of Pokemon. Even the, the three starters here look like knockoff versions of the Kanto starters. Ugh, God. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like how people are trying to make an inspiration from a... like a monster catching inspirational game, uh, games that inspired that Pokemon, but this... this is just pretty much just looking like a knockoff. Wrong button. Stuck in the corner there. Okay. Up here. Ah, fire on a head, but that we can see the go. Scratch that. There's a raven. Yeah, it's cold here. Well, at least we have a way back down here. Wait, I thought I already got this thing down there. Unless it didn't save properly. Oh, it saved properly, just that part didn't. Anyway, back up top. Where is that raven? Okay, now I'm starting to get flashbacks to that uh, old cartoon, Captain Catch the Pigeon. <sighs> Just be hunting off of ravens now. <laughs> oh, there you are. It was easy to spot, just uh, was a little blended into the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. know something on my phone and it just brought up on one of my apps I was here and I thought what the what the, what what <sighs> sorry oh, 
There's another raven. And that's about four out of six of them. Uh-huh. And we found another hidden chamber. Well, we actually didn't need it to uh, break open one of the doors. Actually, interesting. Okay, so that's four out of five. One more and we've got the whole collection. Now, I very much doubt that this would happen, but... Might be possible that one of the ravens are in here. But since we had one on the outside, I very much doubt that. But, well, you never know. Oh wait, I forgot I don't have a resurrection stone. Lo and behold, there is a raven up here. Not exactly hiding him. Okay, so I've got a couple of choices here. One, I can go around and face the Valkyrie right away. Or two, head back to uh, Brock and Sindri's shop and uh, get a resurrection stone. Well, I'm going to be the smarter play and uh, go back to the, the shop. And we actually found the last artifact. That was actually really easy. So yeah, I'm going to be the smarter man and head back to the shop. Anybody else, Mr. Mimir? No. We actually might get some more once we uh, get back onto the boat. They're back at the uh, lake of the nine. Sure, I'm open. Okay, our stats are actually starting to get a lot higher now, so that's a good sign. This has got four upgrade slots. Jesus. And this is actually what we used the glacial catalyst on. Okay. Make you something. Yeah, me again. No need to act so surprised. Here we are. Resurrection Stone. Now, the Superior Stone is a, is a lot better for me because I know while the Berserker Stone actually gives me more rage, I think I prefer the Health Burst over the Rage. Despite the fact that I do use um, Sp Spartan's Rage. Oh, you get what I mean. Uh, artifacts. Pretty much. See you next, where's I see you? Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got all the masks there. We've got these two yet. All the toys here. And all the brooches here. All those the spores of war. Honestly, I can't remember. See what this Valkyrie has to say.
Now, nah, sugar, I forgot to set the timer up. Alrighty, so. Looks like when I reach the 40 minute mark on my timer, I have to stop the recording. Another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. Don't hear any ravens in here. Yep. Focus up, boy. Oh, she's quick. Dive bombs. So this is going to be pretty much a game of do dodging the attacks. Shouldn't be too hard. Ow. The wind's a bit. Okay, so it wasn't Odin that locked him away down here. Sounds 
Looks like your queen is responsible, head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but she had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Munir. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible? Then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's going to watch your back? <clears throat> Okay, I had to pick up those things because there was this glitching around the map. I'll go back and read that other one shortly, but, uh, Grip of the Valkyrie, Epic Lake, uh, Pommel. So, yeah. Have a good look. These actually look really good. I mean, this one's a bit high, high and low, but, uh, Well, let's see what we need to upgrade this. Probably more Asgardian steel, if I would guess. Now, uh, back to the other one. Oh, that's tear shot. I don't want to get rid of that. No, no, they don't want to remove. Ah, here we are. Asgard, Asgard shard of existence. Holding L1 for several seconds grants fortification, causing an explosive knockback after the next... Uh, successful block. That will be actually very helpful. But uh, I think we'll keep this on. And besides, once we uh, upgrade the uh, upgrade this here, we'll be able to get another socket slot. But still, it was actually the queen that might have possibly been the one to lock them away. Question is why? Why would she do that? That's Guardian Steel. That's Guardian Steel. Okay, I see no raven down here. I'm not surprised. I want to make a look of sense if there was another raven down here. But I digress. Alright, so. Looks like we only need the last raven. So I'm going to look them up real quick. One sec, guys. Alright, I may have an idea of where it is, but I need to really confirm it. Under the tall bridge. I don't even know where that one is. I've got those two. Okay, so there's two possible spots where I probably have missed. And they're both pretty much near each other. And nothing else to explore down here, so let's get moving. So I'm going quiet here, guys. Just uh, trying to get this laptop done up again, cause I'm in trouble with my charge port on it. All right, hopefully that stays. Righty, so we're gonna take the shortcut down this way. So let's keep our ears open. I think it's have to go down here. Yeah. <sighs> 
on so guys we're gonna need screenshots here I promise it's gonna be in lost there, guys. So, oh, <laughs> talk about that. And yeah. alrighty, that's the last Raven. Let's get out of here. As for where we're going next, well, that is a good question. Once we get back to Midgard, we'll have a good look to see where we should go. I mean, I know there's a lot of places where I uh, missed a few things here and there. And I probably should have taken better time to look for them, but, well, you wouldn't want to see me just flying around, just finding one, trying to focus on finding one bloody thing. You want to see me back, get back to slaying monsters, great, great screaming, and everything else in between. And me ranting on like an idiot. Then again, pretty much all YouTubers are idiots. I mean, we're doing this, aren't we? <laughs> Alright. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hopefully that we don't run into any more trouble along the way. Sorry. All right, so the laptop's done. We're done here. We can leave. We can go home now. It'll be warm. Yes, we can. We don't need anything else here, so yay for us. For the record, I never need to come back here. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I feel as much. Just gonna quickly look at the shelves again. Okay, there were five brooches, but uh, then again, I think these were just the spores of war. Oh, there's the brooches there. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, what'd you bring? I think you had. Okay, so we need to ask on steel. Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those. Mm -mm -mm. And yep, perfect Asgardian steel. <laughs> Guess that worked out. Guess it did. Now, if I'm taking a wild guess, I think the chance piece with the Valkyrie gear is going to be full play. I will wear it for a little bit, but I want to at least try and get back to uh, having the shoulder. The shoulder piece on because, well, again, full breastplate don't, doesn't really suit uh, Kratos' image. And especially since he's a spawned boy, which the less they wear less arm, of course, it makes it more maneuverable. And uh, if I know Greek history right, they focus less on armor and more on their shields. Shield and lances when it came to combat. Okay, so back to Midgard.
and we are back. Ready, ready, all ready. I once again forgot to start the timer. God, I'm getting bad at this. I know that, well, I'm just too focused on everything else. Okay, Midgard. Not the warmest place, but warm enough. So if we want warm, we can always go to... What's the name of the place again? Go to... We'll survive that, right? Okay, foothills. There's a Valkyrie here, and to get there, we need to pass through here. There's still one more thing at the launch, launch for the mines that we missed. I think it was a Raven. And according to this, it looks like there's one, only one more realm tear in all the Midgard. Two more Valkyries here. We've got all the Norse chests. We're missing three um, legendary chests. And we need to kill about. Sorry, mate. I'm trying to work math out of my head, and no luck. Okay, so that's done with that new story. Okay, so let's start heading here because, well, there's any two more ravens here. Or rather, let me just. Sorry guys, I'm just going all over the place. There's one more round here, here back at the shores of nine. Question is where? What's this? Ah, that's where the realm tear is. Okay, so what do you say we guys will go here first? Oh wait, that's the garden caves. I'm just going all over the place, so it's just been a long day. <sighs> Alright, focus, calm down, one thing at a time. Alright, so we've done the wild woods, the river pass. And we've done, oh yeah, this leads to the uh, river's past here. The launch roll mines here. Okay, so if this is one more thing from here, foothill, mountains, missing quite a few things. One of Irvin's ravens we missed here. Wouldn't be surprised if it was actually inside the um, chamber, but I digress. Also, we're making our way here first. So, back to the boat. Yeah, it wasn't snowing here before, but now it is. Nothing to save a beer. Hmm. Namir, you never told me what happened with the stonemason's son. Grimthur, son of Thandur. After completing his father's masterwork, the Great Wall of Jotunheim, he thought of nothing but making the Aesir pay for their crimes against the giants. Once, he longed to fight for them, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Grimthur and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. Mm. So Fiendthur adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. 
he would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labours. And if he succeeded, he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by the stranger. To have made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Rhea was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard. And when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. It was? What did he say to Freya? Only she could say for certain, but I've had many moons to work it out. Harimthur knew that Freya loathed the Aesir, despite her marriage to Odin. And I believe he gave her the secret to Asgard's defenses. Some weakness he may have built in, structural or magical, which I expect will be exploited come Ragnarok when Surtur arrives to burn Asgard to ash. If not sooner. Hmm. Yeah, that actually has some connections to the actual law of, uh, of the mythology. Some of that is actually part of, has some inspiration behind it too. But instead of wanting to meet with Freya, instead he wanted to marry Freya instead. So I love how they adapted that part instead, knowing that Freya hated Odin in this story. Well, in this game's universe. So again, I love how they took inspiration for the actual mythology and put it, adapted it into this. Ah oh, yeah, these things. Okay, that's it for all the realm tests here. I need to do them all found here. Alrighty, we still need to find one more mystic gateway here, but the question is, where is that? It's gonna be here. Then again, it was here, but uh, just a sec. Jotun Hotel. It's possible that the gateway is actually up there, since all the other realms here, or it could be the Aesir Tower. I suppose we'll have a look at both of them anyway. Anyway, back to the boat. Hopefully that defense weakness that the Mason's son told the Freya will actually be come to play in God of War Ragnarok. But the thing is, will Freya actually allow us to help take revenge against Odin? Or will she let her wrath loose on us? Because I very much doubt she will want want to help us, will want our help. Well, you never know. Alrighty, so the AC of talent is back, well, directly ahead of us. Thank you, Avalor. For what? For saving. I, I know I screwed things up before Balder grabbed me. <laughs> you did, but you are my son. <laughs> After all. Any father will definitely try to protect their children. But for those of you who don't, 
shame on you. Can't even call yourself a real parent if you don't even try to protect your children. I know Kratos may not be the best father per se, but he is doing what he can. It's just how he was raised, how he was brought up, and everything else in between. Okay, nothing on the AC of Tower. We could try to have Hellhorn Tower, but there's one near here. I doubt the. No, because it says. It doesn't say there's a gateway near here. I might have to look up the guard again. One moment. Alrighty, so I've got a whole list of the uh, gateways here. Let's go through them one by one. So, first one is Niverheim Tower. I think I've got that one. Yep. Uh, scrolling down. Number two. Alfheim Tower. Niverheim. That's the Rockout Tower. Alfheim, here we are. Number three. Okay, so the first, that's Stone Falls, to the east. Okay, so there's actually one over, one over here I need to go to. Might be the one I missed. Speaking of Stone Falls. Oh no, that's the Alpha now. There's one more thing I missed there. I'll bring it up in a sec. There's still one artifact around the Lake of the Nine, but I bet you five quid that's probably it. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Oh. Sorry. I forgot that the, the elevator was already here. <sighs> Again, too many things on my mind. I don't want to go here. So that was a mistake. Oh, fat boy, wake up to yourself. Oh, come on, I want to hit that. Okay, so we don't actually have more stores to tell from the um, current to the uh, realm between, but when we go to the boat, we have plenty of stories. What's that down there? Got it. If I'm not mistaken, we've yet to discuss the tale of the giant Bergomir. Oh yeah, I remember his run. It looked happier than the other ones, mostly. It begins in an ocean of blood. Finally, a story worth hearing. Mm. If you remember, Emir, the first giant, was fatally stabbed by Odin. It's in his blood our story starts. Emir's magical guts poured out in a torrent so violent it threatened to flood all of creation. The Jotnar were unprepared, as the very last of them were washed away in the endless tide. Not just Emir, 
but all of giant kind faced extinction. And so would Odin's victory have been complete. But Emir's kind did not all perish that day. Staying afloat in the hollowed husk of a tree, the frost giant Bergelmir endured, as did his lady wife. For weeks they sailed, until finally they came upon a new land. They called it Jotunheim. And there they would start anew. As father and mother, they would multiply exceedingly, and as king and queen, they worked to make Jotunheim a land where giants would know no master but themselves. Bergelmir never sought revenge for Odin's slaughter. His vengeance was to live and prosper. He died at peace, a legion of his kin to mourn him. He would ever be known as Bergelmir the Beloved. Bergelmir the Beloved. Huh. Bogomir and his queen survived the flood of Ymir's blood and founded Jotunheim. They did not seek revenge except to live and see his kind prosper. Bogomir the Beloved. A happy ending. I've never heard a story end that way. Not a true one, anyway. You do, laddie. Indeed. Indeed. So there's supposed to be one here. So where is this tower? Sorry, gateway. From the straight from the dock, look away for a large rock and a in the right area. Yeah, stone falls. Ah, it's probably because we need to we need to go up top first. Because when we start out, everything is above, uh, everything else was underwater. Ah, I must have not stand near it when I activated it. Alright, now, that's everything for the whole lake of shore of the nine area. Because it is temple. Okay, there's all of those here. Now Stonefall, where is that Stonefall? See what that last iron we need is. Here we are, Stones Fall. Stone Falls, sorry. Okay, so back here, the last thing we need, favor, one favor, yep, there's an artifact here. Oh no, wait, the artifact was already found, sorry, so actually the raven here, stone form. First visit here, so initially, up top, so this is where we actually docked ship. There it is. A little higher. There we go. Alrighty, so that's that area done. Alright, so let's climb back down and uh, head back to the boat. Or we can spare about another five or five or ten minutes for all recording here. But uh, enough of me talking about time. 
let's go back to the boat and uh, have another story, shall we? But uh, first, let's remove the marker. <coughs> okay, now where should we go next? We're still missing one legendary chest from the storeroom here, so let's talk that. Travelers. Oh boy. Any more tales from there? Well, if you see any more shrines about, you can always ask. Okay, so no more until we find another shrine. I think there's only one more shrine out there in total. Uh and there's another three more wall markers here. For the big guard area anyway. Okay, so I already got the chest down here. Let's head back up on top and have another look. Now, actually, there was supposed to be another... Something else that, uh... Mimia told... Tells us about that has to do with Freya. I don't exactly remember what... Ah, we have to dock the boat on the other side. Uh, back to the boat. Of the driver, but now we need to take out the traveler. Ah, there it is. Aren't you stand still? The legendary tre chest here. Don't know why I didn't see that the first time around. Well, maybe I did see it, but I didn't. Uh, look. Oh, no, that one I forgot about it altogether. I don't know. It's just... Not really much we can do on the shores here, but Garden Caravans. Oh, on talent, light bell, oh, half post, done there. Look at the ancient. 
bench on him, I think, now. Boat race, though. Might have to head back here. Just to look, a quick look. Uh, looks like we're going to look around here first. Cliffs. Done. Something else to look about tower here. Probably Raven, so. Let's go have a quick look. Nobody else to talk about me, man. Well, if you at least had something with a hot ray, what it's going to do to us. Alright, we'll find a raven here and then we'll um, call an episode. And whatever is here, so. Just give me two secs, sorry. Ah, here we are. Look out, towel. Okay, so we're done. <sighs> Got a marker here. Artifact, yep. Uh, raven, yep. Wait, no, we don't have the raven here, so. is above the norm near chest. So it looks like we're gonna have to head up top. Alright, oh, that's fine. Ah, oh, right, I forgot. How much time do I have left? Got a fair few minutes, so if we rush this, we should be able to get up there. Wrong one. Said to be flying around up here. At least that's what I said. Up the left towards the Anaheim Tower. Ah, I see it now. First hit. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. So, next time we will still be exploring around Mint Guard trying to find everything and hopefully find some more lore markers. So, with that, that's going to do it for me. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show support for the channel. I would very much appreciate that. Well, with that, I'm going to head back to the boat, then I'm going to save the game. So, thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye. Take care.